So today we're going to do an unboxing video of the Ryobi P263 3 8 inch impact wrench. So now th they do make two versions of this. They make this one and they make this one. I do not know if the insides have changed when it comes to performance uh, or is it's just the hex uh, the quarter inch hex and the three eighths inch anvil. So we're going to test that out today to see if there is a difference between these two. But let's get to the unboxing. Alrighty, so this, I was, I always wanted to get this anvil. Now, when it comes to replacing a different impact with this anvil, I wanted to make sure that I got the right one. Because they all like the DeWalt and Milwaukee make their make their own and sell it individually, but I wanted a guarantee that it would fit in the into a Ryobi impact. So what we have here is it's a tool only. Of course, you have instructions. You got the uh, ooh that that's surprising. It shows on the box, but I didn't pay attention. It doesn't come with the. Uh, the other uh, belt clip. That's that's a little crazy to me. All right, instructions. So this is the tool itself. Which wow, I'm seriously surprised about that. All right, so there is the tool. Now we're gonna do a side by side comparison. This one, just like the other one, it has the tri-beam LED light. It goes in on this side. So what you need to do with these clips is this little, they have it on both sides, is you squeeze that together like that and then it retracts and gets put in its place just like that but as you see it's because you don't screw it in it is wobbly so as you can see they changed it from the small magnet tray again which I do not know why because this one has the big one this one has a this one has the big magnet tray it's like why would you why would you sacrifice the magnet tray size when it's the same footprint? Replace that with that. Replace this with that. And then there you go. It roughly, you know, let's see if there's a sound difference. Ooh, there actually is. There is a sound difference. I guess it might be just the, the hex spinning extra. Very good. This produces 100 foot pounds of torque, 3 inches, 3 8 inch square anvil. Uh, it, it serves 35 impacts, 3,500 impacts per minute. Three speed selector, of course, one, two, three. Is it variable speed? Yes, it is. Yes, it is. I like that. See that anvil? I love that 3 8 anvil. But if you switch, the problem with the 3 8 inch anvil is if you switch it out from the hex, all you can do is use sockets on it. You can't, you can't use drill bits. If you use the socket on there, it's stronger than it would be in here because it's uh, instant connection instead of having an extender because if you extend it the longer you have this to where your connection is to your a uh, bolt or screw the less torque you get because if it's a direct connection like this you get a much better uh, foot pounds of torque because you don't lose it in the extension so but there you go see uh, why why did they make the the changes I have no clue I have no clue. It's like, why would you go, for, this is the new one, why would you go from a big magnet tray to a small one, and why would you go for a flimsy clip to a strong one? A strong one to a flimsy one. It's I, I, 
I don't get that. So that is the unboxing of this, but we are going to test this out. Let's see uh, what kind of results we can get. Okay, we are going to whip this back out. We're just going to use the 1.5 amp hour batteries with the fuel gauge. Alright, so we're going to use on the 3 8 we're going to use the 5 16 with the extender. And on this one, we're just going to use the 5 16 socket bit for that. I don't like it. See, I, I don't like it. What? Huh. I don't like that. We'll, we'll see what happens. It, cause I, it's, I think it's because the extender that's on there. I don't think they make 5 16th in, uh, in the 3 8 size. All right, so we're going to put these to the test. I don't like that. We'll see. Because it, normally, there's a, normally there's a ball. I'm there to prevent it from moving, but there is no ball. We, we will see. That's what this test is for. All right, so we have, we're going to drive it in just a little bit. That's good enough. All right, so let's see. Three, two, one, go. <laughs> Alrighty. Alright, so now let's do the test with the uh, 3 8 uh, socket anvil with the 5 16 socket and extender. See, I don't like that. I don't like how. I don't like that. There should be a ball in here. Alright, so 3, 2, 1, go. <laughs> There you go. Seven and a quarter. Excellent. All right, so three, two, one, go. And there we go. Now that's disappointing. Right there. That's disappointing. This is a failure so far. This one but it's stuck in there and it, it that popped off like nothing. I'm not going to lie. I'm disappointed with that. I am th there should be there should be a ball in there. There should be a ball in there. All right, last try. 3 2 1 Alright, so both times with both hands, this uh, P uh, P263 won. Let's do a full 4 amp hour battery. So the battery life on this is 100%. Battery life on this is 100%. 3, 2, 1, go. Time. As I do it. All right, so then three, two, one, go. Time. Very good. Very good. Three, two, one, go. One, go. Go. That'll fit. No, that's stripped. That one is stripped.
crap. All right, so it's been a little, it's just been a, about two minutes since I did the test. Let's see what this reads out as. Both did an equal amount of work, 90, 90 degrees. I'm not gonna lie, I am disappointed with with this. I th there should be a ball on there, just like on a regular socket, uh, a socket wrench. There need that that ball is it makes a big difference when it comes to keeping the actual socket on it in its place. So as you can see, there's the ball right there, which that keeps the socket in place. So there should be one on the three eighths socket as well. It does sound a little beefier. This one did win. This one is the better pick when it comes to uh, power. This one is better when it comes to variety. It has a bigger tray, has a better clip. You're able to use multiple things in it instead of just a socket. That's the benefit of the hex because with the with the Ryobi uh, with the Ryobi uh, drill bit sets, they have socket attachments for this so you really don't need the 3 8 3 8 inch uh, anvil you really don't but I'd like to have that on one of the other ones just because I think it would be co a cool feature to have so I'll put a uh, text on this so I'll pretty much have the same thing but yeah uh, but that's that's pretty much it uh, Batteries are still at, are still full on the four amp hour batteries. Oh, well, I I wanted to uh, give one more thank you to Greg for sending me uh, the multiple things, including this uproar and the stickers. This this thing is so, seriously so awesome. This this, this body is one hundred percent customized, one hundred percent customized, and it, it's it's seriously seriously awesome. So Greg, thank you so much. Thank you so much. You know, that's seriously awesome. But this was the unboxing and demonstration of the P263. That's pretty much it. So this is Dave Nicholas. Thank you for tuning in, and I'll see you guys next time.